welcome back to my channel i hope that you've already subscribed and um i hope that you like this video today we will be um doing a tutorial on how to make a uh, resin tray art so it's uh, a marble and geode combined <laughs> i'm not sure if that's really how you will look at it but that's the purpose of this video to show you how it's made and i really hope that you watch it till the end and i hope you enjoy and let me know if you have questions down in the comment and please like our video have a great day so i don't know if you can hear me because i have my mask on <laughs> but today we will be rebumping this um, tray so I've already put the first layer and um, we're gonna do the second layer the theme of the coaster is black and bronze say so, um, Ate Margaret will gonna use it for her um, count um, table and her table looks like a marbly um, brownish color so I suggested um, to do a black and bronze um in the first uh the first order was really black and gold but i think bronze will be better so i've put um a plastic here just to make sure na hindi masaspill yung table ko because usually i don't do my crafting here kaya lang kasi this is a bigger piece than what i usually do and i don't have a flat table in the other side so hindi siya magpapantay and this is the only flat and um, leveled place where can I where I can actually put this bigger piece. If you will notice, the sizes are different. Um, kasi this is just eighteen centimeter, and this is I guess um like a legal size bond paper. So ganon yung size nito, and it comes with two coasters, two circle coasters, and um. I just made the other coaster already. Um, I actually have tried several attempts for the coaster because I don't know if she would like it. This is the first attempt that I had, which is cute. Um, but I think uh, the gold color wouldn't fit with what she have. So I did an alternative of doing it in bronze, which I'll show you. Give me a second. This is the bronze one, and I'm wanting to put some silver on it, like the silver on the first coaster. I think that will fit better. I forgot actually to put the silver thingy, but in this um, tray, we'll put them on. So I'm doing a slow curing. I'm using a slow curing resin because um, that's what I have available. But usually it should be used with fast curing. So I'll just pour everything there. And we'll start um, spreading them. Pini ko kulang yung na mix ko. Yeah, it's kulang. But that's alright. This is already 120 grams. And it's not even half of it. Or maybe the table isn't just level. That's why it, it looks like that. But that's alright. Because we can just spread Can just spread it evenly. And it's not spreading. Usually I'll use a a heat gun for it, but my heat gun unfortunately or this place where I am in right now doesn't have electrical source. 
that's why I'm also using motion censored light if you will notice the lights are spreading or the lights are turning off the lights are turning off if you will notice there are few or there are a lot actually of Come on, <laughs> make it work. So this is the time that you make sure na walang masasayang. Though, minsan talaga merong mga masasayang na bits. And this is also the perfect time for you to put your fillers already. So aside from resin, I'll be putting uh, more bronze. Because I just tried it to put the bronze and it went all in the middle. Which is nice, but it needs more than that. I forgot, nagtabi nga pala ako ng konti. So, I'll just put this. There. So, that's already 120 um, grams. Kasi sinave ko siya. Supposedly, for the first layer of the second coaster. Pero, ayun na nga. Hindi na puminga. <laughs> Sa totoo lang. And, the health risk naman, pagka nire-remove ko yung mask ko. So, maybe I'll just change my mask later on. So currently, I am ano, using a respirator mask. Ang hirap po niya, honestly. It's so mahirap. <sighs> Where is my other mask? Everything is falling apart. I think you'll be a real crafter pag magulo na yung place mo. <laughs> Sobra. You won't see it in the video, but I think you might be seeing it. Medyo madaming kalat. And, yeah. So there. Um, I'm not sure if you will see it, no? Pero ayan. So just, um, so you know, that's just a clear layer of resin. So whatever is in the base, which is the black with a little bit of bronze, will be its design. Kasi clear nga lang siya. But, I wanna make it more prettier by adding few more details to it. Actually, I only have two options for the fillers that I'll be using. <laughs> I have a Shopee delivery. Wait, yes po! So, something came in the mail. We do have our 
more materials. <laughs> so there you go. So, ayan, so we just will be making sure na it's evenly distributed. Ayan. So as I've mentioned, supposedly may heat gun ako dito. So, I can pop the bubbles. Pero wala nga tayong electrical source from where I am right now. So, we have to do. We have to make do of what we have. Diba? Yun naman palagi. So, these are broken broken glass emerald, I think. That's the one that I use for that piece. Since this is a slow curing resin, we may be needing to wait for it to, to go tacky. When you say tacky, that means that the that the resin piece is already malapot. Ganun siya. You will hear it a lot in the resin community. Ano po yung tacky? Ano yung ganito ganyan? So, when you say taki, it means... Siyempre, nung bago ako, nagtatanong, ano po yung taki? Ayun. But luckily, we have a very good resin community right now who is always there to help everyone. Ayan. Just making sure na it's just a straight line. So, it's a touch of geode and... Um, marble in one piece. Supposedly, it's just marble. Pero, for me, kasi, ano, parang, I need more. I need more to make sure it's pretty. And, hindi na naman ako geode master or anything. Kaya, we have to make sure that it's unique. It's one of a kind, only to the owner. That's always the goal. That's always the goal whenever I, I make my creations. I want to feel, or I want to make the, the customer feel that she's the only one who has it. Kasi yun naman talaga yung, ano, diba? Yung, yung sense ng customized items. To make sure that you're the only one who has it. And a lot of people right now are into customizing. Like, they like customize everything. Like, everything talaga. Just nila sila lang. Who will not like that, diba? Na ikaw lang meron ng isang piece. get my ano, bronze colorant because I think ano na siya, perfect na siya for this effect so usually what they do for for ano for marble effect is um, they mix they mix ano resin with the makeup powder but what I like about just putting the powder in it is it has a different effect. Um, look at this one. The, the small pieces and the bits. It's just the powder um, blending or curing while the clear pieces are curing. And if you will notice if you joined it, this is what, what I did with this is um, a dirty pour. So, for the dirty pour, you just put the colors together, like one drop, one drop, one drop, and then you pour it. Just like acrylic pour. 
Um, but it's very uncontrollable when you do that. That's why I would really recommend of just putting the powder in. So for the other first layer, what I use is the powder. But it has a base of black. Now, since we have a base of clear, whatever I put inside will be there. You will see it. Just like this. You will see everything that I'll put there. Because the base layer is clear. Technically. That's all it. That's all. The petal was one piece, but it went like that, so I don't have any choice. But to actually spread it out. The thinner, the better, for 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 I know for marble, um, but it will still blend in, as I've mentioned since it's a slow curing resin that I've used. It has 24 hours curing time. So, since it has 24 hours curing time, medyo, ano tayo? Mahihirapan tayo. Um, in terms of making sure na hindi nagagalaw yung designs mo. For most resin artists, of course, they know about that already. But for those who are beginner, ayun. And people sometimes think that this is easy because you watch it and it feels like it's easy. Because you'll just design and everything. But what you don't know about is the challenges that it has after you, um, you made this. So after this, it has to go through process pa. It's not like this is the piece and that's it. Sometimes ganun, may mga instances na ganun, but most of the time it isn't. Sometimes you have to um or most of the times you still have to uh what do you call that? Mm, make sure that there are no rough edges. You have to sand it. And after the sanding, you have to top coat the piece. Which is the most <laughs> dredging part, really, of this type of um, crafting. Yeah, so um, now I'll leave it like that. Just because <laughs> it's already okay for me. I wouldn't know kung anong magiging result niya later. But we'll see. So what we did, my mom and I did, is we created... <laughs> this pang paket a cover na made of ano tupperware lang and tape so we just combined it so it will have a bigger scope which i think will be helpful for everyone who's doing this craft so there it's a diy thing and i also use kuha manila's um ribbon for the ano for the for the handle like that oh see it's so cute and it's just Basically made of tape, kaya naubos yung last tape ko. <laughs> but yeah, it's a pretty um, effect. And this makes sure na walang other uh, materials that can go into your um, pieces. Um, it will make sure na walang ano, walang mga insects or dust that may actually give a different effect in the resin that you're making. So, um, also an inside, the reason why I put that this um, plastic is because it's reusable. This is just a packaging from a Shopee order. And I can put my stairs beside it and just remove it after. Um, in that way, there's no mess on my table. Hopefully, there is no mess on my table because my mama will tell me that I always leave messes there. But there, so... Yeah, I think it's pantai. Is it pantai? I want to make sure it's pantai. So we gotta make sure. You know, the one of the other difficult 
things in in resin as well is making sure your pan your table is pantay <laughs> really i have a leveler but sometimes even if you have a leveler it's still not pantay so there so basically that's it so i hope that you enjoyed watching our video next time we'll make more tutorial on how to make this craft and um yeah there you go i hope you enjoy it take care bye thanks for watching